हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ क्विक डिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टेन सर्कल्स लेट अस स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव प्रूव दैट द परपेंडिकुलर एट द पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट टू ए टेंजेंट टू ए सर्कल पासेस थ्रू द सेंटर मींस दे आर टेलिंग इफ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट आई ड्रॉ अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन फ्रॉम दिस इफ आई ड्रॉ अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन इट शुड पासेस थ्रू द सेंटर दिस इज योर टेंजेंट ए बी एंड दिस इज योर पॉइंट पी This is point of contact. If I draw perpendicular from this, it should pass through the center. So we have to prove this. So first we have to suppose that if we are drawing perpendicular from this point P, it is not passing through the center and intersect passing through somewhere here at point O dash. So what will happen? This is our construction. You have to write that draw perpendicular from P, but it is not passing through center point. Center point and intersecting somewhere O dash. So we come to know that angle O P O dash equals to ninety degree by construction. Take it as result number one. Now join from the center point to the point of contact. Now this will be also perpendicular. Why? First we this was perpendicular. We had taken result. Now this is also perpendicular by theorem ten point. If you join a line from center to the point of contact. Then that will be perpendicular with the tangent. This was our theorem ten point one. So here again angle A P O also equals to ninety degree. Result number two. So we are getting two perpendiculars from the same point and from on the one side on one side, which is impossible. You cannot get two perpendiculars from the same point on the same side. So our supposition was wrong. Means our supposition is wrong. Only what we This we had got from theorem ten point one. So our supposition that we are getting this perpendicular and not passing through the center is wrong. So always perpendicular from the point of contact passes through the center. So this we have to keep in mind. We have to suppose to take two ninety degrees, and if two ninety degrees from one single point is not possible on the same side. So one you have to cancel and you have to say so perpendicular from the point of contact always passes through the center. Now moving toward question number six. The length of a tangent from point A at a distance five centimeter from the center of the circle is four centimeter. Find the radius of the circle. So the length of a tangent from point A at a distance of five front centimeter. Look here. This is your circle. The length of the tangent from a point A. This is your circle. The length of the tangent from a point A at a distance of five centimeter. So this is the distance of five centimeter from the center, and the length is four centimeter. And they told you to find out the radius. We know that this will tangent is perpendicular, so we can find out this by Pythagoras. We know that Pythagoras' triplet is five, four, and three. So obviously, radius will be three. Now moving towards question number seven. Two concentric circles are of radius five centimeter and three centimeter. Look here, first circle. Of radius three, second circle of radius five. Find the length of the chord of larger circle which touches the smaller circle. So this will be your chord, and that will be tangent to the smaller circle. So take it as center point O. This chord AB, and AB is ten tangent, and the point of contact is P to the smaller circle. Now they told you to find out the length of the chord. Means we have to find out this. Join this A to O. We know the radius of the bigger circle is five. Join this O to P. We know that the radius of the smaller circle is four, and this is perpendicular. So again, by Pythagoras, we come to know this A P will be four. Similarly, P B will be also four. So the distance of A B will be four plus four, eight centimeter. Moving toward question number eight, a quadrilateral A B C D is drawn to circumscribe a circle. Prove that. AB plus CD equals to AD plus BC. Means look here. This is quadrilateral ABCD circumscribing a circle, and we have to prove that AB plus CD equals to AD plus BC. This is so imp important and simple also. But look here. I am drawing it here so that you come to know what you have to do here is APB. C Q R D N S. Here it's so simple. You can see these all are tangents. This are tangent means R C equals to R Q. 
this is also tangent dr is equals to ds so i'm on ap equals to as and bq equals to sorry bp equals to bq because all these are tangents so first i'm writing that ap equals to as this two are equal now these two are also equal pb equals to pb equals to bq and then cr equals to cq and this dr equals to ds tangents from the exterior point are equal distance two tangents from the exterior point are equal distance so this is your result take it as result one two three four now add this one at this at this on left hand side ap plus pb plus cr plus dr equals to now you have to adjust this accordingly because you want this whole so i am writing as plus ds plus bq plus cq you can easily see this will become ap plus pb will become ab plus cd equals to ad plus bc so this way you can solve this sum now moving towards question number nine in figure 10.13 x y and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents so these two are parallel with center o another tangent a b this is also a tangent with point of contact c intersecting x y at a and x dash y dash at b prove that angle a o b is equal to 90 degree we have to prove this 90 degree so for that first we have to join this o to c then we have to make these two triangles congruent. We can make these two triangles congruent by RHS. We know theorem 10.2. Again, like theorem 10.2 only, we have to make this congruent. And then you have to make these two angles equal by CPCT and give that angle's name. Okay, I'm doing this. Take it as XX. This angle X and this also X because both these are equal by CPCT by making this congruent. Similarly, you can make this also congruent and you may have to take this equal by CPCT and give that angle name YY. Now we know these two are lines are parallel and this is the transversal line. We know the sum of these two will be 180 degree means 2X plus 2Y equals to 180 degree. You can take out two common and divide it here. So X plus Y will be 90 degree. Now you come to know look here in this triangle this x plus y is 90 so what will be the remaining you, you we can do the sum of all the angles is 180 and the sum of these two is 90 so remaining will be also 90 so you can say angle a o b equals to 90 degree so this way you can solve this sum now moving toward question number 10 prove that the angle between the two tangent drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact at the center one of the easiest question from this exterior point two tangents are drawn and here with center if we join the line or uh, we know this two will be perpendicular a b p o we have to prove that this sum of these two is 180 or supplementary so simple we know this it is forming a quadrilateral and you take on the place of a 90 on the place of b also 90 and the remaining will take it as a o and p only after taking this on the other side sum of all this is 360 let us write angle a plus angle b plus angle o plus angle p equals to 360 degrees sum of all the angles is 360 or quadrilateral is 360 degrees now instead of a 90 plus 90 plus o plus p equals to 360 now this will become 180 take that 180 on the other side angle o plus p is equals to 360 minus 180 so angle O plus P equals to 180 degrees so you come to know that the sum of these two angle is supplementary they are told that only the line segment joining the points of contact to the center and the angle subtended by this both the angle sum is supplementary hence we had proved but first you have to draw this write down the given and to prove then only you can solve this now moving towards question number 11 prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is wrong by this question is taught similar to this only the same question the same thing what you had done it here take it as result number one same thing this equals to this equals to this this equals to this and this then adding one two three four you will get this what we had done in eighth question but here they told you to prove rhombus in rhombus all sides are equal here we come to know that 
opposite side sum is equal so now what we have to do now they told you this is a parallelogram so we know that a b equals to c d and b c is equals to a d y in parallelogram opposite sides are equal and we come to know that a b plus c d equals to a d plus b c by solving you have to take but i am writing directly because we had solved that in a question now you put instead of this c d again a b instead of this b c a d now so what will happen a b plus a b and here a d plus a d 2 a b will be equal to 2 a d now this 2 2 will get cancelled and you will come to know that a b equals to a d means means if in a parallelogram adjacent sides are equal means all sides are equal so your adjacent sides are equal in a parallelogram so all sides are equal so we can say it is forming a rhombus now moving towards the next question question number 12 actually you need a lot of time for this but i'm doing it quickly what you have to do you have to find out the area of this triangle by two ways first you have to divide this triangle into three triangles and one by one you have to find out the area of all these three and then you have to add and this uh, take it as result number one again you have find, you have to find out the area of all this triangle by Heron's formula give that result number two both the area you have to take that both the areas of triangle as LHS and RHS and then you have to find out the value of x how you do look at this will become six and this is eight so here also this will become eight this will become six take it as x x and they had given the radius is four so this will become four four and four so you can find out the area by half into base into height here also half into base into height and here also half into base into height then you have to add the area of all these three and take it as result number one then you have to take the area of all this whole triangle by Heron's formula and keep both the areas as LHS and RHS and then you can solve and find out the value of X and then you can find out. I had made separate videos for all of these sums. Uh, so if you want to see you can directly check in Galaxy Coaching Classes and CRT solution of chapter number 10. You will get my all these videos in detail. If you want to see you can check that also. And the last question, question number 13. Prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing substance supplementary angles at the center. This is your circle and the quadrilateral circumscribing this. They are intersecting. Sorry. Here also it is intersecting. So this will become A, B, C, D. And this will become P, Q, R, S. Now we have to prove that the line prove that the opposite side of a quadrilateral circumscribing circle substance supplementary angles at the center means we have to prove that this AOB plus this COD equals to 180 degree opposite sides these are the opposite side and uh, they are subscribed at the center they are making supplementary angles so sum of these two is 180 that we have to put so, so for that first you have to join all these tangents also now you will get total eight angles one two three four five six seven eight first you have to make this one equals to two or sorry two equals to three four equals to five six equals to seven and one equals to eight we know that we can make this all equals how we can make by theorem 10.2 by CPCT, first we have to make this congruent, then CPCT 1 equals to 2, 1 equals to 8, 2 equals to 3, 4 equals to 5, and 6 equals to 7. Now we know the sum of all this angle is 360 degree. So we have to prove that AOB and COD. So for AOB we want 1 and 2, and for COD we want 5 and 6. So 1 plus 8, instead of 8, you can say 1 plus 1 all 8 sum of all the 8 angle is 360 so instead of 8 I am going to take 1 2 plus instead of 3 also 2 and 5 instead of 4 also 5 so 5 plus 5 instead of 7 I can take 6 plus 6 so here 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 360 degree 2 take it here and this, this will become 180 degree now 1 plus 2 that is angle AOB 
and 5 plus 6 that is angle COD equals to 180 degree so this way you can solve this sum also thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you